Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning to everyone. Come on in, share the broadcast. I'm not going to be on long this morning, so come on in. I really did not want to come on in this morning, but the Lord keep on impressing upon my spirit to come on in and speak with you guys. So come on in this morning, share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. I'm not going to be long at all. I'm just going to drop this and I'm going to go. I did not want to come on in this morning. As you can see, I'm doing an audio instead of a, a, a live feed. And, and the Lord began, woke me up this morning and began to speak to my spirit. And as he began to speak to me, he said that my children are walking under open heaven. And God has been speaking and dealing with me over the fa- past few days about uh, seed and harvest, seed and harvest time. He's been dealing with me for a few um, days well about um, sowing seeds and reaping a harvest. And when it when it comes to, good morning, Terry, good morning, Lazelle, good morning, Bernadette. When it comes to sowing seed, the body of Christ are so raped and so, you know, has been taken advantage of so much that when you begin to speak about sowing, when you begin to speak of giving of time and giving of your finances, so many Christians begin to shun this uh, uh, topic uh, because so much of us, and I can agree, so much of us, myself included, we've been um, literally raped by some false pastors, some false prophets, some false prophetess. We have been literally raped. We've been taken advantage of. And for many of us, we really wanted to do out of the kindness of our heart, out of the pureness out of, of our heart. And the intention was really to help and to assist. And many people took advantage of it. And so it is a very a uh, uh, serious topic but when it comes time to talking about sowing and money in church it is such a big problem because you have people that really did took advantage of people and so it's very difficult to come on and say to a brother and a sister um um um, um to sow because of the uh, past hurt and past experiences. And so this morning, I really did not want to come on. And good morning, Rochelle. Good morning, Shakira. Good morning, Miss Judy. How are you doing? I really didn't want to come on in this morning. And so that's the reason why I just was posting on Facebook. I just was posting and I really did not want to come on. But people of God, the Lord has been speaking to me reference to sowing seeds because it is something that I want the Lord to do for me. And can I say to you that I've been praying for a vehicle for probably about a year. I've been praying for a vehicle. And the only thing that God would tell me is to give, to give, to give. And it got to a point where I'm like, God, when when, when I can when I can get this vehicle, when I can get this, can I testify to you today that I have my truck today? My truck is on the way to Abaco today. Why? Because I was obedient. Even in the times when I didn't want to be obedient, I was obedient. Come on in and share this broadcast. Um, uh, I was obedient sometimes to the point of where it hurt. Sometimes I really didn't have it. And the Lord said to give. And so I began to give no matter how small it was. It could have been $5 that I had left in my pocket. And the Lord said, begin to give. And so he was teaching me a lesson. Could you, or could you believe that me, myself, even as a child of God, I had difficulties with giving. I had difficulties with giving of my tithes. I had difficulty now I would give you my time, but when it comes to give you my money, I had difficulties with it. Why? Because of my past experiences and and so much church people would not admit this to you. We operating in ministry, we're operating under the gift and we're operating, but yet we don't want to tithe. We don't want to throw in our offering. And I was dealing with this same very situation and God began to deal with me. And so he pulled me in. He said, listen, I got to deal with you because you cannot be ministering to my people and not lining up 
up to my word. And so there's some things that I had to line up with that I had to bring into order. And so God says, it, it, it's time for you to get it together. I, I'm not afraid to admit it because when, when you hide things like this, the body of Christ cannot be healed. And so I was dealing with that. It was a trust issue for me. I couldn't trust you with my finances because of what was done to me before. And God said, listen, I can have to sit you down until you start doing what I tell you to do. So people of God, I had to get it together. I had to get it together where my uh, 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 finances was concerned. And I was making my salary. I was making my money, but my monies was disappearing. I didn't know where it was going. Or I would get paid uh, on the 28th. And by probably the 31st or the 30th, I was broke. Don't know where my money went. And people of God, I had to sit down and analyze and I say, boy, God, this thing here ain't working. And so, yes, I was giving of my time. Yes, I was ministering. Yes, I was um, um, operating in my gift. Yes, I was doing that. But some things in my life was not lining up. And so God said, I need you to pull away because there's some things I need to show you. And there's some things that you need to get together to get together. And so God began to speak to me about my finances. Nancy said, like, you want to test me, you want to prove me, then this is what you have to do. And so people of God, believe it or not, I um, was able to. I began to line things up and I asked, I went to God and I repent before the Lord for what I was doing and what I was not doing and not walking according to uh, uh, his commandments, reference to my finances, reference to tithes and reference to offerings and gift offerings and giving to the poor and so forth. And so I had to line up with that. And when I begin to line up, I kid you not, I have my truck today. I kid you not, I wanted a Dodge Ram. I've wanted a Dodge Ram now for almost two years, but I've been praying for it for about a year. And guess what? I have my truck today, believe it or not. So people of God, this is a very um, um, important uh, 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 principle that us as Christians don't follow. Believe it or not, the world follow this principle and, and this principle and they are reaping. And we trying to figure out why the wicked seem to be prospering because the wicked working the principle we the christians don't understand and uh, the importance of the principle but the wicked they work in it and they benefiting will they go to heaven for tithing i don't think so but they working the principle and god is a um, is a is a god that cannot lie and so now they working the principle and they seeing the benefit so stop praying against that sinner who you see uh, uh have cars and a uh, home and their marriage seems to be working out stop praying against them stop envying them. Stop getting angry at them. They work in the principle their line, their, their life might not be lining up. They might not be saved, but they working the principle. Look at Oprah Winfrey. Uh, she is not saved. She does not believe in our God. Uh, uh, but listen here, she works the principle and she is a millionaire, billionaire because she's working the principle. And so this is what God has been saying to me for the past couple of weeks. And, and so a few days ago, God, I woke up and God said, I need you to sow this seed into someone's life. And so I got up. I really didn't have it. You know, I really didn't have it because I'm saving to get the truck um, 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 uh, into the country. And I said, God, I need a couple more dollars in order for me to pay the shipping fee and this custom fee when this truck got get, um, um, on the island. And so God said, I need you to sow into this person's life. And I sow into the person's life. And guess what? My truck is on the way here to Abaco. So believe it or not, uh, people of God, when God is speaking, uh, to you reference to giving or referenced anything it is that God is speaking to you about, or you ministering about God first deals with you first. So God had to deal with my heart condition first. He had to deal with me first. I can't come to you and minister to you about something that I can't, that I never experienced. And so God told me to, to line up. I had to get it together and I had to learn to be obedient to the word of God uh, when he speak and, and says to sow. And so people of God, what I'm saying to you this morning, I'm saying to you this morning that uh, uh, even when it seemed to be impossible, even when everything around you seemed 
seem to be sinking, even when things around you seem to be um, um, going contrary, guess what? Listen to that small voice that is telling you to sow, that is telling you to give of your time, that is telling you to give of your finances. Yes, sometimes it hurt because we really don't have it. We really can't afford it. And this is the reason why I wanted to take you to Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26, and I'm going to read the 12th verse to you. Well, actually, let me read the first um, 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 verse to you. And you'll understand um, what I'm saying. This is Genesis chapter 26, verses 1. It says, And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went um, unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines of Gerar. Ge- Ge- Gerar. And chapter uh, verses 2 says, And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not, go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee. Amen. And so what God said to Isaac, uh, he said to Isaac, guess what? It does not matter how it looks around. It does not matter how the situation around you look. And I don't care how much the sun is sinking around you. I don't care how much it is that uh, people around you seem not to be prospering. Do not move. Amen. It may seem like everyone is leaving Grand Bahama. It may look like everyone is leaving. But God says, I need you to stay in place because the very place that it seems to be famine or famine is in the land. Hey, Christy, how are you? Um, Hey, Veronica, the very place that it seems as if the land is being dry up, that it seems like it's famine in the land. God says that very same place is where I'm about to bless you. He says in that very place, he says, yes, the famine will come. Yes, the bad times will come. Yes, it, it will come. It's a principle. The, the, um, listen, I, I wasn't trying to go here. God, I wasn't trying to go here this morning. Help me, Holy Spirit. Listen, it's because of the pride of the grand Bohemian people that they are in the position that they are in now. And God says, guess what? Uh, 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 they, uh, they have to go through what they're going. It will get worse before it get better, but it will get better. Listen here. Um, um, I see airports being controlled constructed in Grand Bahama. I see in homes being constructed in Grand Bahama. I see in West End being constructed to a fishing community. There's so much things that God is about to do in Grand Bahama, but you must go through the storm first. You must go through the fire first because it is a principle. You must reap what you have sown. And because of the pride of the people, now they had to reap what they were sowing. They, they got so, so full of pride because jobs was in Grand Bahama. People was working two and three jobs and so now uh, what you see in effect is because of the pride of the people and so God says that has to take place he has to weed out some stuff he has to wash out some stuff and so now that Grand Bahama is dry there's some places that has to be knocked down there's some buildings that has to be knocked down there's some things that has to happen in Abaco my God I hear the spirit of the living God there's some buildings in the bazaar that has to be knocked down that has to come down before I can bless my people People again, my God, my God, I hear in the spirit of the Lord this morning. And so God says, yes, it, um, I will flourish it, but it will get worse before it get better. And so people of God, uh, what God said to Isaac is, he said, don't mind how it look in the, in, in the land. Don't mind the famine. I don't want you to move. And so what God is saying to you, those in Grand Bahama, and to you, you who are going through some difficulties and experiencing your um, finances um, um, drying up, God says, don't move because I didn't tell you to move. Unless God tell you to move, do not move. I was one of them that God had told me to move. And it wasn't because of the finances and it wasn't because of Grand Bahama. It was because I was being sucked up and dry up spiritually. And so God said, you had to leave Grand Bahama in order for me to save your life. In order for you to be the person that I call you to be. In order for me to use you, you have to leave your kindred. You have to leave your family. You had to leave a familiar place. And so this is the reason why I had to leave Grand Bahama. But there's, for, there's many of you on this line, God told you not to leave Grand Bahama. Do not leave Grand Bahama. And so God says, I will flourish you. I will take care of you right in that same situation, right in the very place that they say dry up, right in the very place that they say there is no life, right in the very place where they say no good thing can come from it. My God, my God, who am I speaking to this morning? Come on and share the broadcast with somebody. It'll be a blessing to them. And so I want to drop down to verses 12 of Genesis um, um, 20. 
26 and in verse 12 it goes on to say uh, then Isaac sowed in the land and received in the same year a hundredfold my God he didn't receive uh, 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 sevenfold he didn't receive tenfold he didn't receive fiftyfold or seventyfivefold but the Bible says here in Genesis chapter 26 verses 12 it says then Isaac sowed in the land and received that very same year a hundredfold my God who am I speaking to today right in that very dry place right in that very place God says you are about to receive a hundredfold but guess what there's something you had you have to do first you it, 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 yeah 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 action the reaction requires a action and so you have to put some action behind it in order for you to get a reaction there must be a action and so what God is saying in this season begin to sow seeds begin to sow the seed God is speaking to your heart today and he told you to be a blessing to that woman down the road he told you to be a blessing to somebody mind you you holding up on somebody vacation you holding up on somebody ticket and you thinking now oh she have a hair fixed with some Remy so she don't need my little $200 she don't need my little $100 she don't need my little $10 she don't need my little rice and my corned beef but God is saying in order for me to bless you with the blessing that you've been praying for you got to be able to put a seed in the ground guess what Isaac what he told Isaac right in that same very dry place right in the place in the midst of the famine God told him to plant and he began to plant and what the word of God says it says that he reap a hundredfold my God my God verse 12 says then Isaac sowed in the land and received in the same year a hundredfold and the Lord blessed him man listen he he benefited fit it. He got more um, 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 harvest than the seed that he put in the ground. Man, for some of you, I don't know if you know about plant things. I know as a little little girl, I like I, I used to like farming. And I always used to go in my mommy backyard planting things like peas and beans and so forth. Because I was so amazed of how um, quick the beans would grow. And guess what? You would dig the hole and I used to put probably about three beans. Mommy tell me, put three beans uh, once it was dry in the ground. And so I put three beans in every hole hole and I would cover that up with the soil and then I would water it and every morning I would go outside and I would water that man. I would go outside and I would water my little beans. I would go outside, water my little potatoes, sweet potatoes and guess what? Before long, I think it was a period of probably six to eight, um, probably six to eight weeks, you begin to see now the bean was beginning to sprout out of the ground and it just used to amaze me to see that the little bean, the little head of the plant will start to poke out of the ground and probably Probably in another two weeks, you see the leaves started to come. And then in about, about another four weeks now, you start to see the, 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 the tree start to have flowers on it. It begins to bloom. And then in another couple of weeks, you see it started to it start to blossom. It, the, the fruit begins to grow on it. The bean begin to grow on the trees. And so it, it was just amazing to me. And guess what? I only put three beans inside of the hole. But I got a whole a tall tree that give me beans that man listen 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 somebody get this revelation today that one plant that one plant i was able to 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 to, to get a um, man i can't even count the amount of beans that you can get out of one tree so what am i saying to you today man your little three dollars and your little five dollars and your little five hundred dollars seed that you plant guess what god is about to multiply it and this is what god has been dealing with me even begin at the beginning of the year he says mother when somebody sows into your life when somebody is obedient to my word and they sow into your life, he says, do not speak a double into life. He said, yes, double portion is good. And when I ask you to speak a double blessing and you speak a double blessing, but he says, when somebody make the sacrifice and they are, are, they are obedient to my word and they sow into your life or they sow into the ministry that I've given you, he says to speak multiplication over their lives. My God, somebody get this today. So yes, you may be going through a difficult time. Yes, finances might be tight, but God is saying, give me the little, plant the little and watch me begin to move in your life. My God, my God, I want to pray for some people today who want to go on vacation and I'm one of them because I have all my hands up and my feet up because I want to go on a vacation with my kids. Um, 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 for those of you, um, um, Prophetess Abigail, I don't know if you want to, um, 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 oh God. This is not a live video, but I hear in the spirit of the Lord saying that you have something on your, um, have something to say, but I, um, I'll probably come on in a little after in the afternoon, but, um, 
reference to 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 to, to sowing uh i i um, um reference to sowing I hear and God said, give the little that you have and watch me move. I want to pray for those of you uh, that want a vacation. So if you want a vacation, go ahead, type vacation on the screen. And I also want to pray uh, for, for, for stagnation. This is what God was dealing with me um, this morning. I want to pray against the spirit of stagnation because a lot of you, you've been stagnated in one position. You're not able to move. It seems as if um, 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 you can't go forward. It seems as if you cannot move and so i want to pray against the spirit of uh, uh, uh stagnation and so if you uh, uh want a vacation this is what the lord told me to come on that i really didn't want to come on this morning but he said come on and so he said to pray for my people for vacation because a lot of you you're tired you're weary and you won't try to figure out how you can go on this vacation for some of you you just want to take your kids away you just want to um um um, um go and take your kids on a trip. It ain't even all about the shopping, but you know, us Bohemians, we can't go to, to on on um to the states and not shop. But God says, I see and I hear your prayers, and He says, um 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 to come on in and to pray uh for vacation and against the spirit of stagnation, setback and delay, because the enemy have been fighting many of you. Reference to the finances that are supposed to come into you, and many of you, your blessings they right above your head, and you can't seem to pull it down. Why? because the spirit of setback and delay so we're going to cancel the spirit of setback and delay now uh father we give you the praise we give you the glory we magnify your holy name this morning oh god father as i come before you i ask oh god that you will take away everything in me that is not of you oh god forgive me father god of every sin that i have committed whether it be known or unknown father god in the name of jesus father as i humble myself and come before your throne oh god i ask oh god that you begin to move on this line like never yet before father i pray father god that everyone on this line today father god that you begin to move in their lives like never yet before and according to your word in isaiah father god you said that you are about to do a new thing and you ask shall we not see it so today father god we stand boldly upon your word today oh god and we await a new thing father god in the name of jesus father i pray for those father that have children oh god i pray for those father god that have been working and saving their finances but who's not able to afford a vacation i pray father god that you will come through that you will do it that you will uh, make a way out of no way father god for them this morning every crooked part father god make it straight today in the name of jesus every crooked part make it straight today now in the name of jesus father i pray oh god that you'll begin to grant them the desires of their heart according to your will and your purpose today in the name of jesus father i come against the spirit of stagnation i come against the spirit of setback and delay now in the name of jesus every spirit that is working against your people father god i cancel it now in the name of jesus where it was impossible father god let it become possible today now in the name of jesus father i pray that you begin to move in a tangible way in the lives of your people right now in the name of jesus i pray today father god that phones phone calls will begin to come in father god that they will begin to receive the checks that are hold up that they'll begin to receive the finances that have been hold up, that they'll begin to receive the tickets that have been hold up, that they'll be able to receive the trips that have been held up, that they'll be able to receive the blessings that have been held up now in the name of Jesus. Now, God, as I stand in Father God, in the gift and the office of a prophet, Father God, I begin to prophesy over your people, O oh God, that finances, Father God, will find them today, Father God, that finances will find and locate them today now, that their blessings will find and locate them today now in the name of Jesus, according to your will, according to your will in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. We glorify you today. Father, I call forth their finances from the east, west, north, and south today, Father God. I call forth their blessing from every direction from the four corners of the earth right now in the name of jesus every principality every demonic and satanic occult everything father god that is working and hell holding up their blessing i command it to be released now in the name of jesus every chain father god that has been held in them holding them down and holding them back father god we break it now in the name of jesus and we say today oh god that your people are free oh god we bind the spirit of 
of confusion. We bind the spirit of setback. We bind the spirit of stagnation. We bind the spirit of backwardness now in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we come against the spirit of poverty right now in the name of Jesus. We dismantle it. We uproot it. We sever the head of poverty right now in the name of Jesus. And we say today, oh God, begin to move in the banks, oh God. Begin to move in the credit unions today, oh God. Begin to move on the bank accounts today, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray today, oh God, that your people on this line will be obedient, oh God, and they will begin to sow as you lead them, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we say today, Father God, as you have blessed Isaac, Father God, when you told him not to move, even when he was in a dry place, even when he was in a famine, Father God, and you bless him because he sowed, Father God, you bless him a hundredfold because he sowed. Those that will be obedient to your word today, that will sow a seed into the ground today, Father. Father, I pray a hundredfold seed in a hundredfold seed right now in the name of Jesus. I speak multiplication on their seed now in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you for the vacations. We thank you for the tickets. We thank you for the finances. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus for everything that you have done, everything that you are doing in the lives of your people on this line today. And so, God, as I come on this line and was obedient to your word, I pray that your people begin to walk in obedience today and uh, uh, in the name of Jesus. And I speak favor over their lives, favor with man, favor with the banks, favor with the lending institutions, favor with people, oh God, in the name of Jesus and everything that was held up, oh God, we loose it. We call it forth now in the name of Jesus. Father, we magnify your holy name. We glorify your holy name. Somebody come on and magnify the Lord with me. Somebody come on and worship the Lord with me. Somebody begin to worship the Lord with me because many of you you're going on that vacation. My God, before school open, you're going on that trip. For many of you, the trip will come even after school is open. Amen. Uh, for, 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 for many of you on this, there's about three of you on this line. Um, um, you're about, somebody's about to bless you with a trip. Amen. There's about three of you on this line. God is about to bless you with a trip. He's speaking to the hearts of uh, some people to bless you with a trip. Somebody might call you and say, hey, listen, Um, you say you could drive in the States. I need you to come and go with me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you people, I'm telling you, sow that seed. So I ain't asking to sow no seed in my life, you know. I ain't asking you all for your money. I ain't asking you all for nothing. All I'm saying is be led by the spirit of the Lord to, to, to sow a seed. Uh, uh, sow a seed in the life of a, uh, a real man or woman of God. True soil. Uh, a real soil. Man, a soil that you will be able to uh, see fruits from. Amen. And so, 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 so people of God, like I said, there's three of you, uh, 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 someone is going to pay for a trip for you. Amen. Because, uh, uh, you can drive in the States and so they might need somebody. They will need somebody to drive them around and take them to different locations. And not only will they care, they pay for your ticket. They will pay for your food. They'll pay for the room. <laughs> I tell you all expense paid vacation. I'm seeing it for about three of you on this line. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. So people of God, I just wanted to come on come on in for a short while and to uh, speak with you and to encourage you. I know it is difficult because many of us, we've been hurt, we've been taken advantage of when it comes to our seed, when it comes to our, our finances. But God is saying, yes, I understand what you've been through. Yes, you're going through a difficult time. Yes, you may be facing a famine, but don't you move. Be still and watch what God is about to do, do in your life. Be still and watch what God is about to do in your life. Sow that seed, plant that seed in the ground and watch what God is about to do in your life. Isaac in Genesis 26 and 12, he sowed his seed in the land while it was famine. It was famine in the land. He sowed his seed and was obedient to the word of God and he reaped. He benefited a hundredfold. Amen. So blessings to all of you. Thank you for coming on in. Those of you that shared the broadcast, I really appreciate it. Blessings to you, Prophetess Abigail. I will message you a little later. Uh, blessings to all of you. Hey, Penny, how are you? Donisha, blessings, honey. How are you? Laquisha, how are you doing? How's the little mama doing? Blessings to all of you. Turn on bless 
blessings, blessings, Miss Seymour, blessings, uh, Ivy, blessings to you, Sophia, blessings, good to see you, uh, Terry, blessings, blessings to all of you. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. Thank you for coming on in. Uh, uh, who else I didn't say hello to? Hey, Miss Curry, blessings to you, uh, blessings. Those of you that have not subscribed to my YouTube page, go ahead, subscribe to the YouTube page, and it will be a blessing to you. You can go there and you can watch all of the videos. There's some good stuff on that. I, I was on that just the other day watching some things and I just couldn't believe it. And I've watched the growth uh, from like about two and a half years ago when God told me to come on Facebook and begin to do this. I watched the growth from then to now. So people of God, go on the YouTube page. Support, support, support your friend. Hey, um, blessings, Rochelle. Blessings to all of you. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. I love you for sharing the broadcast. I'm probably coming back on a little later on to continue the discussion discussion on the difference between a psychic and a prophet of God. Amen. And then I'm going to go dig in deeper into the spirit of divination. So you don't want to miss that a little later on today when I don't fix up myself and fix my hair and put on my face. So blessings to all of you. Love you for watching.